six. Yeah. So um, <laughs> Carrie is getting ready to mm -hmm. do his next interview. But before he comes back to the studio, let's check out a package that he went out and did yesterday. And we'll come right back. Hey, it's Carrie here again, and um, we're here at Fitness Center. And the real question is, how do you get that carnival body? Now, we're in the middle of band loan season and quickly approaching the carnival season. And you know, at this time of year, lots of people get a little more gym conscious and you see higher patronage at the gyms. And I'm here with my personal trainer friend, Joshua Lee of Fitness Necessity, who will give us more information on um, how to get that carnival body. Good to see you here today. Good to, yeah, um, good thanks for having us. And um, yeah, so the big question is, how do you get that kind of a body? And um, for the average person, is it feasible or is it like unrealistic to get the type of body they're looking for to be road ready? What would you say? All right, so if you've been a good person and you've been on your diet and you've been um, committed to your training program, now is a good time to, to get in gear. You could boost it up a little bit. Um, six months is more than enough time to get that body in. But if you're now looking to start, uh, it may be a little bit difficult, but nothing is impossible, all right? So with the right amount of discipline and dedication, the right program, right nutrition, six months, we could definitely get you in again. The formula for weight loss is very simple. The execution is what is difficult, all right? So calories in versus calories out. What does that mean? Let's just say I eat 3,000 calories for the day, no matter what it is. If I eat 3,000 calories for the day and I only burn 2,000 calories for the day, I have a surplus of 1,000 calories. Where is it going to go? I'm not using it. It's going to store and convert as fat. Right? Now, on the inverse, if I go into a deficit, so I eat the same 3,000 calories a day, but now I burn 4,000 calories. Right? I don't have the 3,000 calories from the food, so where is my body going to get the other 1,000 calories to burn? It's going to tap into my fat stores. All right? So the execution, the formula, sorry, is easy, but the execution can be what is tricky. So when personally I train for carnival, I keep my resistance training. I keep my resistance training up. I like to lift heavy. I love iron. That'll never change. But as carnival approaches nearer, uh, what I like to do is what we in the industry call two a days or three a days, meaning we train multiple times a day. So one session for the day, I will do a dedicated resistance training, heavy weights, high volume. And for the other sessions of the day, I might do a shorter 15 to 20 minute program, but it'll be based on a lot of movement. So today, we're going to explore that. All right, guys, you heard it right here. You got the best possible advice from a professional. And I think that keeping all this in mind and putting it into practice is definitely possible to get that kind of our body. But before we go, we're actually going to see the proper technique of how to do some of the exercises. And our pro Joshua over here will show us just how to do it. For sure. I have some work to do today. And you know what? I feel like I want to do some weight training myself. <laughs> and I'm going to end up looking just like Carrie, exactly how he looks right now. Carrie, I see you went and you did a little switcheroo there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a little switcheroo. Um, you know, I'm in my fitness gear yeah. right now. Do you work out uh, every day? Not every day, but I try to make it at least five times a week. And how heavy was that? What do you call that? The thing that you were lifting? Which one? Um, the one that looked that very heavy. Underneath or, or yeah, the, the underneath it. Yeah, how heavy was that? Um, that was 300. 300? Uh, 325. 325. Oh my gosh, so you can oh, lift yeah. me up then? <laughs> no, 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 I don't want you to try, but it's just, I'm just thinking to myself, yeah? yeah. You could actually lift people up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like with ease. Yeah, relatively easily, Um, because the weight itself, you know, pure iron, it's yeah. um, way more dense and, and heavy than 
you know, the average person would be. So, okay. So, so, yeah, so I, chef, I can boost a little bit. Chef, fitness instructor. <laughs> what else, Carrie? What else? No, I'm not fitness instructor, but I'm, I'm very in tune with fitness. fitness. Buff. Let's yeah, go to fitness, fitness buff. buff, fitness enthusiast, maybe. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we're going to take it across to where you are now. I see you have right. two guests with you. Josh is in studio. So, all Carrie, right. it's all yours. Thanks a lot, Lisa. So, this morning, we are talking about health, wellness, and fitness. And in the studio with me, I have personal trainer Joshua Lee. Hi, good morning. And I have Alex here as well. Hi. And the thing is, Alex and I actually have something in common. Alex is also a chef. So, <laughs> Alex is a, is a pastry chef, actually. Um, I myself am in the culinary part myself. But, um, yeah, so, hashtag chef who left. Chef who <laughs> left, right. That's exactly <laughs> what we're going for. All right, so, <clears throat> Josh, mm. we did some um, exercises and stuff yesterday yeah. and, you know, the things we did at the gym, you know, mm. were really interesting and intense for sure. Um, what we need to add, though, are things that <clears throat> people who do not have access to a gym right. um, could do right at home. Yeah. You know, so in regards to things you could do at home, what is, what is some advice, advice you could give? Okay, cool. So do you think the, the, one of the challenges that we get in the fitness industry all the time is that I, I don't have time, I'm stressed, uh, I don't have, uh, I have kids, I don't know if I could leave uh, my daily life to go and, you know, train. And the good thing about it is, is that fitness is a lifestyle, fitness is not a gym, alright? So you can do a great workout at home with little to no um, equipment at all. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to show you some like body weight variations and then I'm going to introduce some equipment, but it's like minimalist equipment. So the good thing about uh, what I'm going to show you today is that, like I said, uh, it's, it's a lifestyle and your lifestyle goes with you wherever you are. So whether you're on vacation or you're at home watching the kids, um, you can always do something. All right. All so right. Um, before we go to that, um, I actually ask Alex, you know, um, carnival time, you know, everybody's getting in their shape for carnival and whatnot. Women like to focus a lot on your lower body. Um, I would say from what I've heard from friends and people in the fitness world, you want to add to that? <laughs> you know, because the physique um, women look for and stuff. Okay, no problem. <laughs> the physique that um, women look for, you know, is, it, it focuses a lot on the lower body. Women love doing legs. Mm -hmm. um, friends of mine and colleagues and stuff, um, you know, females, they especially say they you know, they focus on the legs a lot because, you know, it's all about that tone and that look yeah. for on the road. And on the road, it's a lot of walking and chipping and jumping and whining. So, you know, definitely <laughs> you need strong legs to handle that. So let's actually go right into the demonstrations of things that you could do at home. And Joshua would guide us on what we're going to do. Okay, cool. So first, what we're going to do is uh, no equipment. All right. So Carrie is going to help me with a few movements. And what we're going to do is we're going to stick to the basics, keep it real, real basic. And we're going to focus on compound movements. Compound movement incorporates multiple muscle groups, all right? So we know that we have a very limited amount of time. Um, so we want to jam as much benefit into our training as possible. Okay? So let's just go with the squat. Let's just keep it real basic. We're just going to go okay. with a body weight squat, all right? So what Carrie's going to do is he's going to get his feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. His feet are going to be at about a 45 degree angle. That's about fine. You're going to keep your chest up. Face in this direction, right. and you're going to push your butt like if you're sticking it to the wall while keeping your chest forward. Let's go. All right. Alex, you want to jump in there too? All right, let's go. On your mark. Three, two, one, let's go. One. You're going for five, two, three, four, and five. Right, and that's something basic that just about everyone can do. If you have knee issues, which is also um, quite common in the industry, or as many of you viewers would know, you can always just kind of come next to a wall if you don't feel confident and just kind of put your hand and, you know, just make sure that if your knees feel a little wobbly that you have some support. All right, next, what we're going to do is a push-up. All right. All right. So this <laughs> body, <my> body. <laughs> All right. So my let's go. Cool. So now we're going to go into the plank position. All right, and with the plank position, you want to do with what we call joint stacking. All right, meaning you want your shoulders in line with your hips, in line with your ankles. Boom, boom, boom. You do not want something like this, and you do not want something like that. All right, so we here. Yeah. You like doing your goal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to flex the elbows, and we're going to try to get the chest 
to hit the floor first. Three, two, one, let's go. Going for five. Two, three, four, five. Nice. And that's it. Up. Cool. <laughs> All right, so that's going to engage the upper body. It's, it's mainly chest focus, but you're going to get shoulders, you're going to get arms. You actually work a lot of your core because you have to balance a lot. Um, the next movement, I really wanted to do something with the back like a pull-up, but you don't have a pull-up here today, but that's all right. Chances are you have something at home, like a burglar proofing or a piece of exposed iron or like a lift with door frame. That's fine. So you, basically what you want to do is you want to hang as low as you can. You want to get the shoulder, the elbow, sorry, completely flexed, feet off the floor, and you want to pull yourself so that you get your chin over the bar or the door frame or whatever it is you're using. Okay, so next we're going to do no weight again. We're going to go into some core movements. And what is the core? This is not the core. This is part of the core. This whole band is the core. All right? So now what we're going to do is keep it real simple. Um, Carrie and Alex, you're going to go down again. So you're going to sit down. All right? Nice. And yes, you're going to do just like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to lean back for me about 45 degrees. Both of you are going to put your hands on your sides. Good. So now we're going to perform what we call an in and out. You're going to keep your knees together. You're going to bring your knees to your chest. Shoot it out and lean back. And then come up. Boom. We're going for five, two, three, four, five. Nice. So if that movement incorporates the whole abdominal wall. Now we're going to go into something called a Russian twist so that we get the obliques. All right? You're familiar with Russian twists. Right, so what we want to do with this one is you really want to get that trunk rotation. A lot of people move their hands a lot and they don't twist enough. So what I want you to do is focus on getting your chest facing it to this wall and then come back again to this wall. Alright, let's go Alex. Three, two, one. Two, three, four, five. And relax. Yes, so you notice that when we do individual movements, we don't count each side as one, you have to do both sides and then that's one. That's why Pence people say fitness trainers can't train, um, can't count, sorry. That's exactly why, all right? So for this movement, two reps equals one. Next. Okay. Into the chair. Hmm? Chair? Okay, cool. So now we have some minimalist equipment. Everyone has a chair at home or in your hotel room, okay? So some things that we can do here these are resistance bands, all right? So they're very, they're, they're a few variations. So these long ones, they're small looped ones, right? And then there are these ribbon style ones. So today we're gonna explore this one. Right. So gentlemen and lady, <laughs> it was fantastic looking at you all. Yep. I know that we don't have much time yeah, again before the, the end of the show. Mm -hmm. We just have less than a minute again. Yeah. Yep. So do we have time like to see to, what's happening with the chair? Um, no. I yes. don't know one if one we have time. Yeah, one movement. Because I've been watching that cool. and wondering what this is. All right, so yeah. let's anchor this uh, band here real quick. Yeah. Get it up and behind. So from here, you can work triceps. Yeah. And you could also bring it over and work some chest. Okay, so real simple. Whole gym. Yep. A whole gym happening. Just take some creativity. Yeah. Uh, I, think, away. I think that that is something I would I would have to try. I need to. Um, get some muscles, <laughs> right? <laughs> but it was an absolute pleasure having both of you carry. Oh, excellent, well, excellent. On, I, I know that you had fun today. Um, fun you did today. your first interview, yes. and, and this this is people. I'm Amazing. Sure people will, will Amazing. Would be happy that they got this information. Yeah, absolutely. Right, and we're happy that we were able to bring it to you once again mm -hmm. on now, right here. Thanks to our guests in the studio. We Thank had a fantastic day. We're here again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, everyone. See you tomorrow. <laughs>